We've always believed that an Earth day consists of 86,400 seconds, but did you know that it's not as constant as we thought? Back in the year 1000, Muslim scholars divided the solar day into 24 hours, minutes, and seconds. However, as technology improved, we discovered that Earth's rotation period irregularly fluctuates, even by just a fraction of a second each year. In this video, we'll explore the concept of leap seconds, crucial for precise timekeeping. Just like we add a leap year every four years to account for Earth's orbit around the Sun not being exactly 365 days long, we add leap seconds to our clocks as needed to accommodate the minor changes in the Earth's rotation. While some might consider being born on a leap year unlucky, it actually means they age four times slower than the rest of us, which is quite intriguing. Jokes aside, the gradual slowdown of Earth's rotation has important implications for our climate, geography, and timekeeping. Leap seconds play a crucial role in keeping our time accurate, aligning atomic time with the Earth's rotation. Without them, we could end up a second late for important events. The Earth's rotation speed irregularly and unpredictably changes, making leap seconds announced just six months in advance. Physicists Stevenson and Morrison developed a model showing a steady increase in the mean solar day, with the Earth slowing down. Tidal friction is the primary reason for this. The moon's gravitational forces cause ocean tides, generating friction that slows the Earth's rotation by 2.3 milliseconds per century. Tidal friction might seem puzzling, but think of it like applying a brake to a spinning bicycle tire to slow it down. This natural process, governed by physics, not only affects our timekeeping but also impacts life on Earth. Without the moon's tides, our oceans would be stagnant, jeopardizing marine life and our planet's climate. Tidal friction occurs not only between the Earth and moon but also affects other moons and planets in our solar system. For example, Jupiter and Saturn's moons experience strong tidal friction, leading to active volcanoes and geysers. The Earth's rotation changes due to various factors, including the movement of its crust relative to its core and changes in mantle convection. These processes alter the Earth's moment of inertia, affecting its rotation rate through the conservation of angular momentum. Understanding tidal friction and its impact helps us grasp the dynamics of our planet and the intricate relationship between celestial bodies in our solar system. The fascinating phenomenon of tidal friction is a captivating aspect of our universe's ongoing processes. The moon isn't the only factor that can influence Earth's rotation, ice also plays a role. About 20,000 years ago, during the Ice Age's end, melting ice from glaciers and polar ice caps caused a redistribution of mass on Earth's surface. As the water flowed toward the oceans, this shift in mass distribution altered the planet's moment of inertia, leading to a change in Earth's overall rotation. Surprisingly, it sped up. Recent research shows that the loss of ice mass in Greenland and Antarctica has caused the Earth's rotational speed to increase. This melting ice has shifted the Earth's axis, tilting it more toward the east, and shortened the length of a day by about 1.8 milliseconds over the last century. What's even more intriguing is that human activities, like climate change, can also affect Earth's rotation. The melting of glaciers and ice caps due to climate change could speed up the rotation by about 12 microseconds per year. Although this may seem small, it could have a significant impact on the length of a day in the future if it continues over time. The interplay between natural processes and human activities showcases the delicate balance that determines Earth's rotation and underscores the importance of understanding and mitigating the impacts of such changes. Earthquakes can also play a role in changing the Earth's rotation, but in a different way from ice. When an earthquake occurs, it can cause a redistribution of mass on the Earth's surface. This shift in mass distribution affects the Earth's moment of inertia, which can either speed up or slow down its rotation. For instance, the massive magnitude 9.0 earthquake that struck Japan in 2011 caused a significant mass redistribution, shortening the length of a day by about 1.8 microseconds, 1.8 millionths of a second. The earthquake shifted mass from the Earth's equator to its poles, making the Earth spin slightly faster. 
However, not all earthquakes have the same effect on the rotation. Factors like the earthquake's size, location, and type play a role in determining how much mass is distributed and how it influences the planet's rotation. Scientists are continuously studying this phenomenon to gain a deeper understanding of how earthquakes can impact the rotation of Earth. You might be wondering about the shortest day ever recorded on Earth. Well, it happened on June 29, 2022. On that day, the duration was 1.6 milliseconds less than the usual 24 hours, making it the shortest day in recorded history. This discovery highlights a crucial fact, the Earth's rotation changes due to a variety of factors and their random combination can lead to different outcomes in the length of a day. Sometimes, the days become shorter, and at other times, they may become longer. The Earth's rotation is influenced by numerous complex factors, creating a fascinating and ever-changing phenomenon. While days becoming shorter may seem insignificant at first, over a long period of time, it could add up. In such a scenario, we might need to consider introducing a negative leap second. It's important to understand that leap seconds do not indicate a slowdown in the Earth's rotation rate. Instead, they represent the accumulated difference between atomic time and time measured by Earth's rotation. Over time, the average length of a day has increased, not decreased, indicating a faster rotation rate of the Earth. Recent reports show that Earth was spinning faster in 2020, with the 28 shortest days since 1960, each lasting less than 86,399.999 seconds. This led engineers worldwide to discuss the possibility of a negative leap second and other timekeeping measures that could eliminate leap seconds altogether. This highlights the significance of accurately defining leap seconds to ensure precise timekeeping on Earth. This video ends here. What do you think about the change in the Earth's rotation? Let us know in the comments below. I'll see you next time on the channel.